What's up everybody? It is I, Hero Vange, and welcome to my Kingdom Cup Meta Simplified version 2 video. Now, because of your sweet, sweet feedback, shouts out to the people on Reddit, in my YouTube comments, and also on Zionix Discord. Because of your feedback, I was able to take my graphic to a whole nother level. We're gonna talk about the best picks, the best counters, the best... Not really the best because they're budget Pokemon, but they're cheaper. The budget Pokemon and the best utilities. Let's get into the video. First, we're gonna talk about the big meta-defining Pokemon, the Alpha Wolf, Lucario with his power up punch once he gets it set up or a couple of them set up it's gonna start to hurt more than your ex when she left you for somebody else lucario can beat out all of these pokemon groups in the red and as you can see he's a massive threat definitely the meta defining pokemon problem with him is he does get hit super effective by some of the pokemon here notably Flygon. Flygon. If you can get that Earthquake, you might be able to kill him, okay? You might be able to pull it off. And so I suggest that you shield Lucario as much as possible. Dump those shields. Invest those shields. He's gonna give you returns like no other. Better than working a 9 to 5 for sure. So yeah, he is uh, shield uh, priority numero uno. But the thing is, because he has that power up punch, powering up his fast attack counters, He's gonna hit like, he's gonna hit like if you bought an ice cream cone, you licked it and the ice cream fell over. It hurts. Next, we're talking about the Blaze Boy, the man with the fire pants. Kind of reminds me of like a guy who's into capoeira. Uh, we got Blaziken. Now, Blaziken, it's difficult to assess his power level compared to Lucario. I wouldn't really say that he's like a downgrade. He's not, he's kind of like a side. It's difficult, okay? But he does have his use. He kills Lucario. Now that's the thing, right? That's just, that got me excited, okay? But over there on the right side, he doesn't kill Flygon. Lucario can definitely kill Flygon. He can't, okay? He still kills Elix, not Flygon. Down below, he can't really kill every single thing there. He can still kill Bastiodon, kill Sileo, even if it's backing Water Gun, but Lapras Water Gun? No. No way. Dragonair? No, uh, 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 no, 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 no. So it's kind of like a, he's a side grade type of guy. Yeah, you can still have both on your team. I think that's a good idea. Now, a lot of you guys have been asking about Stone Edge Blaziken specifically, right? Do you need that Stone Edge to be able to do all of this? The answer is no. You don't need to do uh, Stone Edge to get all of this, all right? But if you do have a Stone Edge Blaziken, this is my advice, all right? Save it, find me somewhere, and trade it to me because I want it. It's definitely an upgrade to the non-Stone Edge version. And uh, with Stone Edge, you can actually beat out Lapras, okay? So that's one thing, just one thing. Now, the last dude on this group is Infernape. And Infernape is a lesser Blaziken, okay? He's a lesser Blaziken. That's all you need to know. So just go blaze again, okay? Okay, now the next group of Pokemon that we're talking about are the anti-Lucario Pokemon and the best anti-Lucario Pokemon, hands down, is Alolan Marowak. He can soak up that counter damage, all right? It just goes through him because he's kind of like a <laughs> he's a ghost. Yes, and he returns fire with Bone Club. He's like, what? You out of here. Whooping! Get the hell out of here. Infernape's kind of like, I don't even want to fight anymore, bro. Okay. Cheap Bone Club kills all of these dudes, like right these dudes right here. Okay. Definitely save him for that specific use. Okay. But once you do get rid of these guys, he's got a stinky, stinky Shadow Ball, which is a gross charge attack. It does a lot of damage for anything else. Okay, so you're gonna get that, what's up? Next, we're talking about Charizard, who used to be my number one anti-Lucario Pokemon, but he definitely got beat out by Alolan Marowak. He can still handle Lucario the best out of the other anti-Lucario Pokemon other than Alolan Marowak, but Blaziken, it's kind of like, you know what I'm talking about? It depends on the shields, Monferno, uh, Infernape, I mean, uh, sure, sure. But the thing about Charizard again is, uh, he's kind of a sensitive guy, you know? Anybody throws like a small insult at him, he's like, no you! He's really squishy, 
Yep, really, really squishy. You're gonna have to dump the shields on him and that's not good because that takes the shield priority off Lucario and onto your Charizard, which is no. I, it's no. Just, I think if you have an Alolan Marowak, that's the way to go. Next, we're talking about Altaria and Skarmory, which are kind of like... Kind of like the same Pokemon, little bit, very close, okay? Altaria is a little bit, little bit better. But they're not as good as Charizard. Not as good as Alolan Marowak in beating the major threat, okay? And that is priority. That is priority. Yes, they have their matchups. They can beat Kingdra, sure. They can beat Flygon, they can beat Dragonair. Sure, sure, okay. But the major threat, the priority, eyes on the prize, okay? If you're out there fighting Kingdra, fighting Flygon, Dragonair, with your Altaria, and your Skarmory, then you're losing because Lucario is gonna set up and is gonna sweep your team. You need to save these Pokemon for this guy. The last Pokemon in the group is Bronzong. And even though I am mentioning him the last, that doesn't mean that he's the worst. He's actually second tier to Alolan Marowak. Not bad, right? Not bad. With that confusion, all right? You got these guys way better than the birds, way better than Altaria, Skarmory, Charizard. He can handle it, okay? The only reason why Alolan Marowak stands up on top of him is that he doesn't have great charge moves. He's, he's got doo-doo charge moves. He's got, what has he got? Psychic. Kaisi? Does 100 damage, sure, but for 70 energy, it's kind of like, bruh, right? And then, Heavy Slam, okay. <sighs> that's that's the reason why Alolan Marowak is better than him. He's got, you know, Bone Club, Shadow Ball, way better, way better. But, and here's the kicker, okay? Once you beat these guys, you can go like, GONG GONG! Am I right? Wait, he's a bell. Moving on to the next group of Pokemon, we're gonna talk about the people who shield, right? Lucario, Blaziken, from Danger. It's the Bastiodon group. Now, I understand that Bastiodon is a massive investment of dust. Honestly, nobody can do it better than he can, but I do have some budget options for you and we'll talk about them too, okay? Bastiodon, thicker than a snicker, literally. A meat shield is ready to protect Lucario and friends from the enemies, okay? From the enemies above and below. He's about to smack down Alolan Marowak, Charizard, Altaria, Skarmory, Bronzong. He's got that fire flamethrower breath for anything that's made of steel. He's got stone edge for things that fly. And also Alolan Marowak, he, he, he flies, he's a ghost. But yes, nobody does it better, okay? But the thing is, you're gonna need to sell your character's left kidney uh, to afford him dust-wise. And so we have some budget options. All right, so the first budget pick is Water Gun Lapras. Water Gun Lapras is a side grade. To Bastiodon, rejoice. You don't have to spend the dust. You don't have to sell your character's left kidney, okay? But let's talk about it. Water Gun Lapras, better with the Ice Beam, okay? Can handle that group down there, the anti-Lucario group, really well, okay? Except for Altaria. Altaria will still beat Lapras. If you have Ice Beam though, you can hit it and kill it. But are you gonna hit it? People can see that, you know, coming from like a mile away. They're probably gonna shield it. But what about Ice Shard? Ice Shard, so we can handle that Altaria. With Ice Shard, yes, you can handle Altaria. But the thing is, all the other matchups get really tight. Really tight, so it could swing. You know what I'm talking about? Depending on shielding. Water Gun Lapras is a side grade to Bastiodon because he can handle this guy right here, uh, these dudes over here, and over there, Steelix, okay? So. Not a bad choice. Not a bad choice. No need to sell your kidney now, huh? Dragonair is a lesser Lapras. Lesser Lapras, okay? Definitely a downgrade. So if you have Lapras, do that. If you don't, maybe? Maybe? Okay, it's got Alolan Marowak, Charizard, but the rest, destroy it from the anti-Lucario group. Here, it can beat Kingdra if Kingdra has um, Waterfall. We'll talk about him later. But, you know, if he has Dragon Breath, it gets kind of hairy. It gets. It depends on the shields. Okay, this, this, th these dudes right here. It's got Steelix. It loses Flygon. It beats. So, 
kind of like a downgrade. Water gun mustache man over there, you know, he was fantastic in the Tempest Cup. Maybe you have one already. He's not necessarily like a budget pick because he's kind of like, expe he still gets close to like level 40 before you're able to use him. So yeah, but you know, if you have one, you don't have the other two, sure. Out of the budget picks, Lapras reigns supreme, plus he is the cheapest, I guess, even though his second charge move does cost 75k. He's at like a lower level, so you're gonna save on dust that way. Dragonair is at like level 34, something like that. Sea Leo is like way higher, so don't build those. Maybe really just go for Bastiodon, because he's a fantastic Pokemon. He's one of the, the best Pokemon in the Great League. He is a worthy investment. Definitely worth it to sell that that one bad kidney. Okay, okay, okay. Now the next Pokemon group that we're talking about is the Bastiodon Slayers. And the best Bastiodon Slayer is Flygon. Why? That coverage. It's almost all red, okay? So you got this fantastic Pokemon. Let's go through this real quick. Melmetal, you got that. Fire Boys, you got that over there. Steelix. Kind of a side grade, but not really. More of a downgrade. You got that. Bastiodon, you got that. Lapras, Ashley, Sea Leo. If you have Stone Edge, you got that. Dragonair, no. No, 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 no. Alolan Marowak, you got that. Bronzong, you got that. The Flyers, no. No, you lose that. But, and also Kingdra. Uh, Kingdra. Actually, you know, out of all the dragons, he's kind of like the weakest. You know, if, if they kind of like... He's like the nerd dragon, but he is the most useful out of like, look at this coverage, bro. Now, important thing to talk about with Flygon is the moveset, right? Because, you know, you definitely want Mudshot Earthquake, that's a given, but for the second charge attack, right? You've got choices. Right now, I still prefer Stone Edge, okay? But some Pokemon Go YouTubers, shouts out to Purple Kyogre. Link, okay, check out that video. And also, J Farm, which is gonna, his link is gonna pop up like right after, okay, right? They made videos about Dragon Claw, Flygon, and how they use it. And it's very mind gamey. I actually might try it out. You know, it's, it's still to testing, definitely, but he's a fantastic Pokemon, and you definitely need him on your squad right now. Go get one. Now, the other anti Bastiodoner is Steelix. Go get Flygon. Moving on to the utility Pokemon, we've got Water Fall, not Water Gun, Water Fall Kingdra. If you have Water Gun, that's fantastic. That's a very rare Pokemon. Excellent legacy, okay? Never ever TM it, keep it, okay? But it doesn't pack the same punch, all right? Water Fall Kingdra with that hose nose. He's kind of like your mom when you're buying stuff in a, in a market. Well, I guess, if you're Filipino, your mama goes like, ooh, ooh, buy, buy me that, ha, huh? ooh. <laughs> so, yes, he just wants to show you what that hose do, all right? He's gonna throw a waterfall and destroy these Pokemon, and you wanna use him as a lead, all right? You wanna use him as a lead, and here's the kicker, though. You gotta burn both shields, all right? You gotta protect this guy because, you know, he can't take it that well so you know if you are gonna run this guy i would suggest not running him with lucario but yeah if you use him as a lead he will take out you know what i'm talking about and it's awesome and finally we have the anti-water anti-altaria skarmory pokemon melmetal now last time i put him on this thing he was over there with flygon right and people didn't believe me that he can kill bastiodon he can he can definitely kill uh, bastiodon but it's not as clear cut as Flygon and um, Steelix, okay? It's kind of like with the shielding type of thing. So, yeah, I put him down here with the utility. But just know that if ever that matchup, you know, you can hold your own against Bastiodon, all right? And that, lords and ladies, is the Kingdom Cup meta simplified version 2. I am definitely much more confident with this graphic. You can take a screenshot right here. Again, thank you for your feedback. It really helped polish this up, all right? So yeah, I hope you guys learned something as well. Uh, enjoyed the video. So remember to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't yet, maybe ding that notification bell, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys!